what's happening good people we are back with another lux vlog i know let's go ahead and get the uh, elephant in the room out of the way i did not upload day two of new york no excuses i ain't do it all right now so i'm here today um going to just i felt like vlogging it's the last day of the year 2023 we're here we go in 2024 you know to some people that's like a new year new beginning type thing and i was like why not uh do a vlog uh last day and i don't like this camera angle i'll fix it later um real quick though let's talk about what we got going on today i am shooting some video content for uh chiropractor and her husband who is a lawyer uh right now i'm headed over to best buy because i wanted to pick up two road uh pod mics i have four total at the studio already and those are upstairs in studio x right so the four uh person station upstairs in the podcast area and when i have people come do video content and they shoot downstairs i have to go upstairs and um get two of those mics bring them down or however many mics bring it down it's typically two i don't think i've ever, ever had more than two people uh that was on video downstairs at one time so grab those two bring them downstairs hook them up to the mic stands hook them up to the um xlr cables and that wasn't too efficient you know so i said well let me go get two more mics have those uh consistently downstairs and never have to touch the ones that's upstairs so i'm going to handle that and then like i said do those videos and then after that just do a couple of uh, errands some grocery shopping boring stuff right um but I realize I don't really talk too much. I just tell y'all, hey, this is what's going on for today. Then I give y'all some BTS of actually me shooting that stuff. And then I get out of here. But I want to talk to you a little bit. Uh, again, since this is the last day. Done a little bit of reflection, you know, on my 2023. Why wow, my hand looks so big? <laughs> Make my face look. Ah, but our hands are the same size as our face. I learned that early when I was studying photography. So, you know, when people pose and stuff, not putting their hands on their face, because it's like your hand is the same size as your face, and it'll look crazy on camera. So if you do do it, you know, maybe right here somewhere, you move that hand out the way. You see, well, actually, look, look at the comparison. You see how big my uh, left hand looks in comparison to my right. So you never want to have it open, have it closed somewhere here. You know, people go under their chin. You know, you can open a finger or two, you know, they are. So that's a quick tip for posing. But as I was reflecting on uh, my 2023, it was a great year. I, I have to say it was a great year for Allen Lux Studios. It was a great year for myself. Um, we got a lot of work done, you know. Uh, opened up the studio on May 20th, 2023. That was the grand opening. Um, so first studio in seven years where my name was on the door. That was an exciting moment because I've always done um, the co-ops in the past. You know, for the first six and a half years of business, I was written from somebody else. And it was like four to seven photographers written that same space at any given time, right? And my dream had always been to open up my own studio. Found a deal that I could not refuse. I love the space. Y'all have seen it so many times at this point. Um, and so, yeah, I jumped on it, you know? So that was exciting. Um, I thought it was going to be the space where um, so many creatives come in and shoot content. I'm not the only one that's shooting photography in there. I felt like other photographers would be in there. I felt like filmmakers would be in there. Um, you know, just running the place up, right? It's getting a little hot in here. Hold up. So, but that's not what has happened. What has happened in that space is podcast recordings the podcast market is huge and we are offering a place that's very competitive to all the other spaces here in uh the charlotte metro one thing that we're offering that they are not is in-house engineers that folks lets you focus on being the talent and we record your stuff for you we pay attention to the audio we pay attention to the video, it's our equipment, and we get your files back to you within 48 hours. Ain't nobody topping us on that. So as people are getting the word about that, they're learning we're here, and what we do, they own it. They are on it, and I'm loving it. So yet another reason why I'm going to, I bought these two extra mics, you know, I want to make sure that I'm putting money back into that space.
space, you know, since that market is picking up and really uh, utilizing the space, I want to make sure that they have the equipment that they need because some people, you know, they've talked about it and they want to have multiple guests on at one time. You know, she, this one lady wanted to have six guests and herself as the moderator. So that's seven people total. We need mics for all of that. And she said she hasn't done it yet because other people aren't offering, you know, but nothing more than four mics. So yeah, get this place up. <coughs> Excuse me. What else has we, have we done? A lot of events, you know, events are the bread and butter of Alan Luck Studios. I consider the content creation space to be a uh, subsidiary, right? That's the subsidiary of the brand. It's called the Alan Lux brand, Charlotte Podcast Studio. Um, so that's generating its own income. But as far as Alan Lux Studios, the media production company, events have been our bread and butter. Um, so our usual clients that we've had for many years have done events this year. Uh, picked up a new client, uh, Profound Gentleman. They are an uh, organization that focuses on keeping black male uh, teachers in the classroom. So they provide a lot of support and resources to black male teachers. They did two events this year. I met them in 2022 in Cancun when I was shooting for UNC Charlotte. So I met the director there. So that was in November 22. And he was like, we'll be contacting you. So in February of 23, their first event, they hired us to do that. So that was a three day uh, event. We shot that video and photo. And then they did a gala and, or I think they called it a soiree. They did a soiree, soiree in October of 23. So we shot that video and um, photos for that. Um, landed a new client. So Central Piedmont Community College, they, uh, it's their small business department. They hired us to do their headshots for the uh, small business owners and entrepreneurs that are in their program. And then they had a celebration uh, ceremony uh, a couple of weeks ago here in December um, that they hired us to do photos for that as well. So clearly we're in the education field, right? We got the client UNC Charlotte, profound gentleman that focuses on black male teachers and now the community college. And I believe Central Piedmont is the largest community college in the south eastern region don't quote me on that but i know it's a pretty big uh community college so you know now that my clients have told me that i'm in the education realm you know that's what i'm marketing towards to get other educators or other organizations that are supporting educators letting them know hey we have experience in this here's all the things that we've done check out our portfolio we need to make your education organization look good too, you know? Uh, what else we got? You know, I've had my nephews working with me. Um, that was an experience in and of itself. I love them boys. You know, they got a taste of hard work. They got a taste of getting paid money. Um, they now work for Chick-fil-A. So both of them work at the same Chick-fil-A store as well. And then they come assist me uh, on the weekends and stuff. I hadn't had the opportunity to sustain them in employment here because they haven't learned, you know, um, the cameras or anything yet. They were mainly here to help me get the um, studio up and running. So they help with all the rental there. They help with all the cleaning. They work the, um, grand opening everything and now they still do that stuff right so they still do some of the maintenance and upkeep uh oh that ain't my ex is that my exit that's not my exit that is my exit all right i'm talking i'm running off in the mouth Dang. all right i'm gonna have to get back over there i don't even know what i was talking about but i missed my exit <laughs> oh all right so um I don't know what I was talking about. I guess I, I think I was talking about my nephews. So yeah, they still work with me doing some of the cleanup, like when I need to do a heavy cleanup or an overhaul of the studio, moving all the stuff around, they come and help them. Uh, just hired a new intern who's actually going to be starting in January. It, 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 it came to me. Dog, I gotta go a mile and a half just to get to the next exit to be able to 
turn around and go where I need to go. That's a waste of time and energy. Okay, and battery, but oh well. All right, back to what I was saying. The intern, it kind of fell in my lap. I got an email from someone, didn't know who he was. He said he was with a state organization and they place resources in small businesses and provide internships where the state will cover the salary and the state will cover uh, workman's comp. And that's up to 18 weeks. So they have the budget to pay the intern 28 hours per week for 18 weeks. It sounded way too good to be true. He told me to uh, email him back if uh, I wanted to learn more. Absolutely, I want to learn more. Tell me more about this. Because again, it sounds too good to be true. He was like, I can uh, stop by the studio, you know, and meet you and talk about it. I'm like, all right, cool. So he stopped by the studio. I gave him a run through of what it is that we do there. Um, <clears throat> and you know, what need I would have. And so then he told me about the program. So the program, like I said, is a state funded uh, agency where they, they do rehabilitation. They help people who have different needs right um and they place them uh, appropriately within small businesses so he said that he had this one candidate that had unique skills and he had no idea where to place him and the unique skills in his mind was the candidate um studied uh mass com and uh video filmmaking and editing right so to him he's like I don't know where to place him. So he had a couple of contacts with the uh, news station here um, and in another one with a sports radio station. Um, and I don't think that he heard back from them. And so he reached out to the Chamber of Commerce, which I am a member of the chamber. And he told them his situation like, hey, I have this candidate and I don't have any uh, businesses that I can place him with. And so she was like, you know, reach out to Shamar Allen Look Studios. That's what they do. They do media production and everything. So that right there, go get you a, a membership at the chamber. They are a great resource. They are a great ally and they will promote your business and they will help you when you don't even realize you need the help. So I had no idea they had this conversation going on. He hit me up and now we're here. So, you know, I asked him to tell me a little bit about the uh, candidate, you know, and again, he has a degree from uh, Gardner Will, pretty good school, pretty good university here. And you know, it's video uh, production and editing. And so, you know, met with the guy, he has no real life experience, but he has a degree. And with the things that we do in my studio, as far as reels and the podcast recording, that's easy, easily, easily, that's easy for me to transfer that knowledge over to him. Everything is on tripods. You don't have to do a lot of major production because we're not shooting Hollywood blockbusters over here. You know, we're doing podcast episodes and we're doing reels. So, uh, and that would save me, right? So get him in here. He's working 28 hours a week, um, getting him to do those reels, those podcasts, do the editing for it. That frees up my time to focus on recruiting new clients. So it's a win-win. And like I said, he'll start at the end of January, train him up. He should be hitting the ground running by February. Um, and I'm excited about that. So again, just major wins in 2023. And now I'm focusing on, you know, what's in store for 24 bar. <laughs> I am not a rapper, but I think I am when I'm in the car or the shower. Um, yeah, just thinking about what's ahead in 24 hosting a name your price event, uh, headshot event. So people, they state the price that they want to pay for their headshot is going on January 20th of 2024. They come into the studio, get their headshot, network with other small business owners, entrepreneurs and professionals, get some refreshments and they see my space. The whole goal is for me to give back to the community, help others, right? So everyone can't necessarily uh, afford or have the budget to hire a professional photographer. So, but everybody needs high quality images for the things that they're doing, right? 
So me giving back a little bit, but I also win from this as well because I get more people into my studio because I feel that the studio sells itself. Once you come into the place, you see what it is and how we give it up, you're immediately sold. So the more traffic I can get in there and things that I do to draw that traffic in there, I know it's gonna make the studio more successful. All right, so since I missed my exit and I wasn't paying attention, let me focus now so I can go get these microphones and get my butt on over to the studio. I'll get back with y'all in a second. I freaking love technology. You enter your code here and then it tells you where your item is. Boom, there they are. So I don't know how much better that angle is, but I did try. Y'all see me just try to get that stuff out. Swear I'm filming something about dropped all my stuff. But I think technology is great. That's what I was trying to say. I didn't have to go in there. I ain't have to talk to nobody. Enter my code. And voila. My stuff is available. So, you know, I ain't ate. It was 11.20. I normally eat no later than seven o'clock in the morning so i am hungry i decided that i am going to grab me something to eat charge while i'm over here because the charging station is right here by this best buy and after that head to the studio so i'll catch y'all shortly Amarin 60D and the Aperture Lantern. That is gonna be the key light. And you see I have the audio recorder. It's a Zoom H8 audio recorder attached to the same light pole as the light or light stand. And then I also have the ADD attached to the same stand. So you got a one-stop shop right here less stands less cords for people to walk over this light is battery operated it also has a um, acd power no eight what is the ac power cord but when we have guests in here i make sure that i have plenty of batteries so that we can just put the batteries on there everything is self-contained no cords to worry about i did bring over the mic stands if they want to do the podcast look if they do not want to do the podcast look, I will get a boom arm and put uh, that over them and there will be no mic in the shot. And then I also have this tripod here for a second angle. So we have the main shot, that's both of them. It'll be recorded on this one. Then I will put a camera here so that it is a second angle. It will still get both of them in the shot, but it'll be at the side, all right? Then my director's chair is right there so I can make sure that I am watching all cameras and audio while they are shooting their content. Oh, the backlight. So we got a backlight right here. So the main key light is going to be um, daylight. So 5400 Kelvin. Then this one is gonna be a little bit warmer. So I want this light to be a little warmer than the bright white give that little bit of contrast and also uh, light the back of them to help separate them from that background.
I'm gonna hype him up on your behalf and really not on your behalf because it's all good. Jamar was extremely patient. We came in nervous. He got us to relax. Entirely professional, top tier. I give it five out of four stars all day. I will be back again and I'm gonna tell anybody and everybody that I know who needs him to come see him. If you need a video done, you need to check out Shamar. He's awesome, he was great. Put some commercials together for my law firm, and I'm definitely going to use him to put it together for me. It's top notch production, top notch professionalism. It's all great. So I give five out of five stars. Great job, Shamar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At Allen Lux Studios and Shamar, when you become bigger than big and you get that whole production team of all those people, you are going to still be shooting us. Okay, do we have a deal? Got you. All right. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. Thank you. All right. So everything went great with the video session. They were in and out of here. I scheduled them for two hours, but I think they got done in about an hour. So I'm breaking that stuff down, and then I'm going to shoot uh, some product, a product shot. Where's the table? There's a the table. I'm going to do some content for the Charlotte Podcast Studio, um, shoot these Rode pod mics, just do like a top-down view of me opening the box, talking about the box, and oh, not talking, <laughs> talking about the box. Nobody cares about the box, even though kids love to play with the box instead of the actual product. I'm not going to talk about the box. I'm going to talk about the Rode Pod Mic and how we just added two additional ones to our studio space for interviews down here and everything. And I'm sitting over here watching a podcast about creating your game plan for content in 2024. This is Omar. I forgot how to say his last name. El Takori. He uh, does a lot of work for uh, Think Media, but this is his own channel, his own podcast called The Video Department. Very dope. He's a very knowledgeable guy. So I keep that in the background, listen in so I can learn things while I'm actually creating things. All right. Jamar, uh, forget that address I just gave you, a present, but I would like to start off with a prayer first. Close your eyes, Shamar. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing Shamar to come over to open his gift on baby Jesus' birthday a couple of days ago. This gift was, pre close your eyes, presented to him from uh, his friend, Kia. My best friend. His best friend, he's so say, you know, who who knows though, but go ahead. You may open your gift Again. now, and amen. we are recording. Amen. and amen. Okay, thank you. So I thought it was my birthday, because the bag says happy birthday, but she told me it was baby Jesus' birthday. Yes. What up, best friend? Ah. You talking to me, hey. Nah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Ooh. boy. 
Ooh, let me show y'all. You I sure you that. don't want to leave it here with me? Nah, this got to go with me. This is me. It represents me. Okay. My All right. knows me. All right. You see the resemblance? I love those colors. Absolutely. It's pretty dope. What you say, the resemblance? Yeah, between me and... Yeah, you see A beard, it? yes. The, the skin yeah. is almost the same. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, diamonds in your eyes. Yes. Let me get a little closer. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the you diamonds in the eyes. You yeah, you, you go, boy. It. All right, now. Appreciate it, best friend. Goodbye and out for now.